as old as time Truth to set us free So let me ask you a question. What do you miss the most? I suspect some of you will turn around and say a hug. Bearing in mind we've now been in lockdown for a few months now. Maybe it's just shaking hands or, or being around people outside uh, of your own bubble. Maybe for uh, others, you miss going to the cinema. I don't know about you, but I'm dying to see that James Bond uh, movie that seems like it's going to come out, but never seems to quite uh, 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 arrive in the, in the cinema. Maybe it's going to the theatre, which of course the theatres are really struggling uh, at the moment. Also, maybe it's just going to the local pub. Uh, and for you ladies, maybe it's just going clothes shopping and trying all those different clothes rather than having to wait for them to be delivered, then try them on, then send them back and so forth. I guess we're all missing a, a lot of things at this uh, moment in time. It's tough. It's hard, isn't it? But I guess what we all perhaps miss the most is our families. For many of us, we haven't seen our parents or our grandparents, physically anyway, maybe on Zoom, but not physically for quite a long time. I have two boys that don't live with us. One lives in Brighton and one lives near London. And I haven't seen them uh, for months and I miss them like uh, mad. It's really difficult, isn't it, at this uh, moment in our lives. But why do we miss these people? Well, for a start, we're sociable beings, unless, of course, you're Spock from Star Trek, and none of us are that. We like to naturally be around people. We enjoy, I would hope, people's uh, company. Even those amongst us who perhaps like our own company, from time to time, even we, or those of you like that, uh, like to be uh, around people. But also, we miss our families because, of course, we love them dearly. Well, this weekend is Valentine's. Now, if you're a guy and you're watching this, you probably haven't got long to go and get your Valentine's card or flowers. And, but if you're watching this after Valentine's weekend, it's too late. But it's the romantic weekend of love. <laughs> yes, it's that time when we show our appreciation to our boyfriends or our girlfriends or our husbands or wives, those that we really, really love. Uh, and for those of us who've been married for a while, it's that opportunity for us to show to our partners uh, our appreciation for all that they uh, do for us. So I'm going to be showing Leanne lots of appreciation because she's put up with me for 30, I think it's 33 years or something like that. But it's that opportunity to show uh, our love, of course, for each other. Now, those amongst you who perhaps are a little bit cynical these days about this word love might say, Phew, there's no such thing uh, as true love. In fact, I heard a stat the other day saying that during this pandemic, uh, there has been more marriage breakdowns than ever before. Because of course, everybody's in such close quarters uh, with each other. I suspect when we come out of all this lockdown and the pandemic, we move away from it back to some whatever the new uh, normality will be, that there will be lots of stories and uh, even probably documentaries, I suspect, about what it was like for people in lockdown. And I suspect we will discover that there was a lot of stress, uh, a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear, uh, and perhaps a lot of people uh, sadly fell out of love. But is there such thing as true love? Well, there's going to be two videos that are going to follow now. Uh, and one, I believe, describes what true love is, because I believe that there is such a thing as true and eternal love. And this next video, I think, uh, will describe that. It's an honest video about human nature, but it does describe a special kind of love. And then there's going to be a song. It's actually uh, it's taken from a Disney song. You'll recognise the tune, but the words have been uh, changed. Uh, they've got permission to do that, by the way. And I think this song 
uh, describes true love in action. Well, if you're watching this before Valentine's uh, Sunday, may I wish you a joyful and loving Valentine's. God bless. So let's go on a little journey and find out what true love really is. Humans have a wonderful capacity for love, for selflessness, for sacrifice, for thoughtfulness, for care, in big demonstrations, in small ways no one else sees. The last year has seen love in action like no other. We see what love looks like all around us, but where does it come from? Why do we love at all? The Bible says we love because God first loved us. It all starts with God. This is where love comes from. This is why we love. We have a God who isn't just loving, but who is love and he gives only the best. When God passed love down to us, it didn't come as a hug, or a home-cooked meal, or a Skype call, loving as those things are. It came as his son. Jesus was born as a baby. He lived for 33 years in a broken, messy, confused world. He saw our sin and suffering, and then he died for us, in our place, restoring our relationship with God. Humans do have a wonderful capacity for love, but we're not lovely all the time, we know that. We aren't thoughtful always, we aren't self-sacrificial always. We fail at the small demonstrations of love let alone the big ones. God's love was the biggest demonstration ever. God's love outlasts human love. God's love came for when human love fails and makes mistakes and isn't enough. This Valentine's Day, let's celebrate the biggest, greatest, strongest love story that is God's love for an unlovely people the God who loved us first. Sight of the 
my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea In the silence you won't let go In the questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness I will follow you My lighthouse, my lighthouse I will trust the promise You will carry me safe to shore